Hi, this is my first tutorial today. I want to show you how to create a, a slideshow with a transition effect and I uh, use already Adobe Flash CS4. So here I got the final result. So you see the thumbs, the rollover effects and the song also. See, so you click anyone, it takes to the slideshow. So it has a button. Next next back if you take a look at uh, the effect transition it's like uh, squares like rounding okay also I have close button okay I'm gonna close this also I have uh, the slide show by yourself see nice and also I have another transition effect on skin and here I have another transition effect I'm trying to figure out the better way to do this transition effect see this is what we want to create today make this cool effect transition and close okay so let's start New document, flash by action script 3. Okay, edit 800 by no, 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 and do 900 by 600. Frame rate 24 per second. The background great, dark range now. Hit OK and just minimize the timeline. Okay, first of all, when import the image into the library, I have the 15 image open. Okay, so I'll go to library. Here's the first image. Just drag into the stage. Go to properties and set the X to 50, Y to 50 to keep in the center of the stage. Okay, then when I convert this and symbol, so just hit F8. Make sure it's a type movie clip. Because there are three options to move the clip button for graphic. So I'm going to take the move the clip and hit OK. Once again, move the clip, then double click. So here, add another layer and rename this as mask. So we want to start creating the mask. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool. Or just hit our key, that's the shortcut. So and drag the rectangle. The color doesn't matter. Can be any color. Properties one pick this and go to properties and wanna set the Y as two hundred. Uh hi um five hundred. So the X we wanna set to zero and the Y to zero all the way to the left corner top so now we want to convert this symbol also twice so again symbol then double click then we want to start duplicating this uh, mask square so control D to duplicate just align to the place duplicate align it duplicate okay so here we go we go back to the uh, symbol 2 open the frame and I want to set this as a mask just right click and mask you see nothing happened okay so now what we're going to do is unlock the mask layer 
then double click. So what we're gonna do is select the the masks. So just uh, click the frame and we select the the mask. So we're gonna take one of the masks and we're gonna double click and one set this as a movie click also to make the animation. So hit OK. OK, so now first of all, let me minimize the timeline. I want to pick the uh, free transformer tool. I want, I want to drag the pop tool to all the way up to the top left corner. Then we're going to drag the this all the way up to so no matter what because we want the alpha effect okay so I'm going to open the timeline go to 15 frame F6 to insert keyframe now the mask I'm going to set this up to 200 this 500 okay now click we're in, in the middle of the those two keyframes and then right click create classic twin okay also we want to apply the uh, effects type to alpha all the way down to zero also we want to set the easies all the way up to 100 okay so here we got the animation so I want to add another layer I'm going to rename this as um, Action Script. So I got on 15 frame, F6 to insert keyframe, window, action. I'm going to type stop. I'm going to close this. And then, let's test the movie. You see? It's a nice effect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, make a couple of changes. If we go symbol 2, if we go to mask, double click, we're going to the mask layers, I mean, yeah, the mask layer. So select the frame, the first frame, and then go to modify, timeline, distribute two layers. What it does is put separate each mask in different layers. So what we want to do is drag this. to the four frame and this to the ten frame also here we want to add another action script layer so if we go to 15 frame insert keyframe F6 to insert the keyframe then go to window action component Type stop, semicolon, close it. Now we want to extend the uh, frames also. So extend the frame, just uh, highlight the, the layers from the top to all the way down. And then, oh, hit M5, sorry. 